Charles has visited the Bombardier train factory in Derby, helping boost morale there after several months of uncertainty over its future. The factory had to lay off staff last year, but a new order is expected to guarantee work for about three more years. The Prince of Wales met many of the workers and he was even shown how to drive a tube train. Here's our correspondent, Keith Wilkinson. The train now arriving at Bombardier is driven by His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. Prince Charles took to the controls under the watchful eye of driver Rag Gahonia. Yeah. As we go around that big bed yes. around there, we're going to come to a shed. You see that big shed? Yes. Yes. Not the usual sort of passengers either. And when it came to a safe halt, there was much applause. The Prince joking about how they were glad to get there. That was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. No, 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 we're right. Bombardier in Derby has been through some troubled times, losing more than a thousand workers after missing out on a huge government contract last June. But in recent months, more orders have come through, guaranteeing its future, at least for about three years, according to the management. That's been a morale booster, and so has the royal visit today. There was a black cloud hovering over the workplace and, and certainly over the town as well. So, you know, now hopefully the black cloud's gone away and it's a positive and, and onwards and upwards, basically, for me, for, 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 for the workforce and, and for the town itself. Derby train maker Bombardier says it has been given a big morale boost from a visit today by Prince Charles. Last year, the company, of course, announced 1,400 job losses after losing out on that £1.4 billion Thames Link contract. But it's already won another, smaller order, and there are hopes of more to come. Well, today the Prince toured the site and even had a go at driving a tube train. Mike O'Sullivan reports. The Prince on the production line. Bombardier in Derby, carriages for the London Underground, and meeting the people who make it happen. A father and son, the third and fourth generation of their family to work here. He asked me how I felt when obviously we lost our contract last year. I said obviously real down, but now it's positive and uh, short term future looks good and hopefully get a few more contracts and uh, be a bit longer. Obviously what it means to you and obviously to my son who, who just started life out down here and to me in a long term future which is looking quite positive at the moment and hopefully further afield hopefully he can probably work here if he decides as long as I've worked here. The Prince was given the chance to drive one of Bombardier's trains. This one part of a London Underground contract that runs until 2014. And then push it forward. With Thameslink gone to Siemens of Germany, this contract had been the only one left at Bombardier. A few months ago, it had been feared the plant could close, but a lifeline came over Christmas and New Year. Another order, worth £180 million from Southern Rail. The staff who turned out to see Prince Charles today have been told their stability for three years. Prince Charles came here to help fly the flag for British manufacturing, but after Bombardier's recent troubles, how secure is the long-term future beyond the three years they've been talking about? Three years doesn't mean that this site won't be here in three years. On the contrary, I, everybody here has been quite used to the idea that sometimes they have an order, sometimes it fades out, sometimes a new order comes in. But it's vital that more orders come through to keep these highly skilled train designers in a job. They were delighted to see Prince Charles today, helping to generate support for the UK's last train maker. Mike O'Sullivan, East Midlands Today, Derby.